Well, that's the way it is. So I can think of the future and don't feel bad. That's pretty important. <coughs> you know that picture of me? Yeah. Didn't look like I had a worry in the world. Oh, we both, but we had the money and we could afford it. I thought we could handle it. And so uh, I got dressed from my farm clothes, dressed a little bit better, and was ready to get in the car and talk with Sol a little. And uh, I forget just what. She said something like, are you sure that's what you want? Just like that, I give it up. I see that she was in doubt, and she understood that. And it, it would have been all right, but we didn't really need it, because we could farm land on it. And uh, so, I should need, and I keep telling people that I don't want to talk about the past. And here I tell you all this stuff, but I always said uh, I want to think in the future instead of talk about things that can change. But I don't have anything there that I hesitate relating to. So it isn't too bad for me if I know somebody's interested and uh, I don't see you. I'm the one for a great fall, far from away from here that we can't do much together. So it's one reason I'm kind of exploding the you so I know a little bit better what circumstances are and what situation is. And maybe you get a little encouragement to do what's right for you and not worry about your neighbors too much. I do, and I thank you for it, because I've learned a lot every visit. I keep learning more every time you talk about it, because um, I've matured from the last talk. So every time you explain it, you explain more and new things and provide a more full picture. And the painting you've painted gets more colorful. And it helps me feel good about where I'm going, what I've done, and it helps me to approve myself, approve my path. And um, because it's all I have. Well, I did go on a vacation unless the family went. I did do things private. And uh, I was, I thought of something else that I was going to tell you not set my mind. But anyways, uh, uh, that's pretty much how the whole system worked. And of course, like right now, I like to see uh, young guys having something to build up so they can think of a retirement fund and uh, gradually work on that when they're young and be a little careful about uh, what, well, we need to get careful and uh, your association might be. And uh, I guess you not much to talk about, but when we moved out from New York, went to church there in Topeka, and I knew them guys real good there in church, and uh, started going there, and of course, I didn't go there only a week or two. And the superintendent come to me and he says, uh, we're going to reorganize. And he said, we need a teacher and we're going to give you the men's class. And I said, no, I said, I says, uh, my brother sat in that class and they're older than I am. Never worked. We're going to put you in there and you're going to take it. And I had it for 19 years, the men's class. Wow. And the first Sunday, I made the impression. And I didn't do it for the impression. But I was just letting them know that I was going to teach them something they didn't know. And so 
and my brothers were there, sitting there on the back bench. And uh, we had quarterlies pass them around. And then uh, I had the first guy there, uh, I told him when he opened his quarterly there, I said, I wish you'd read the first verse for me, for us. I wish you'd read the first verse for us. And he did, and I said, is there anything in particular that you think about when you read that? Well, yes. There's something about God and takes care of people, one thing or another. And I said, well, that's fine. Everybody was listening because uh, they was wondering what was going on, I guess. We got to the next guy, same thing. <coughs> And he related pretty much what he thought the verse was telling him. And by the time we got round to all the class, Sunday school was over with. That was the first Sunday. And them guys found out that I wasn't trying to teach them anything, just trying to discuss it. And they felt as part of the class. It was successful for 19 years. And finally, up the search we go through now, I finally just resigned. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I had an expositor, an illuminator, and there are things that take verse by verse or piece by piece out of the Bible and explain it, what it's all about. And so my knowledge wasn't just exactly my thinking, but it's what I read in these expositors and illuminators to explain it. And I passed it on. And it was successful enough that it lasted until we left the church there. <coughs> and I felt so happy for my brothers because it didn't, didn't separate us, made us closer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there was a lot of good things happening. Some bad ones too. Mm -hmm. I'm using up all your time. As you know, I gotta, I gotta go, uh, It's your bedtime. Push my button for help to get to bed. It's, you don't have to just rush. When they get here, I'll go. But uh, I will say this. Just because I was that age, I soon told myself, that doesn't mean you can't still learn. Because the thing's gonna pop up that you can really evaluate on it and prosper with it if you keep your mind open. So, yeah, well, I don't know, it's pretty tough to be in here and have to help get to bed and get up in the morning and, and cooperate with a lot of people if they say, see you in 10 minutes, maybe it's a half an hour. Hi, Chris. So uh, I don't have so much to complain about because I don't know any place along here where it's going to be. And I needed to be where I had this canister put on. That's my handicap, really, that I had to have that special attention. And I'm so lucky that I can have one where I could uh, get dressed, where it's my pet likes it. Uh, uh, covered up, you know. But it, I need, can't be away from here too long a time because I need to have that change about every day. And of course, uh, I can uh, take care of part of that. Here comes somebody else. Yeah. And of course, I can think how a family helped me, Sally especially. And I didn't have any boys there. She's out there with the traction. I remember right in the back shed there. I don't know what was doing, but used to have sweet corn in it. And I remember she was back there on the tractor with doing something. But uh, she told me one day, well, I'd sooner do this and be in the house doing the housework. So uh, I felt a little bad 
But uh, Mother was very thankful that I had help when the other help left. I was running kind of short of help. But uh, uh, we got along quite a little while. Let's see, what did you do when you left there? I mean, you didn't live there. Well, that's what I'm trying to get. That's what I'm trying to get placed. No, you didn't live there at all. Of course not. So, uh, you see, uh, Phil and Sally, uh, Phil and uh, Art were gone, and then Sally was there, and she'd fill in a lot of times with the tractor. And once or twice she had a little problem, but then not very often, but she really enjoyed it, so. And we used to have sweet corn, and they'd have it out by the road there, and uh, we had a lot of friends, and even now, uh, according to where Sally is, she don't show up, and she meets friends. Good friends. So, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't care about, I had a room, a room companion and at the table. They always wanted to go way back and everything. I don't care much about that, but what I want to know, talk about now is some future thing you can do that keeps you uh, feeling important. Well, I know of one thing that you have shown me that it's a new purpose for you, and it's how you refuel these caregivers. When, the, when these p nurses come in, you tell them how important they are to you, and they go out and they are inspired to care for all the, of the other patients that maybe are more difficult to care for, but they know that they're appreciated. You because, know you got a point there that I didn't, uh, I knew I didn't uh, get the full value, but it's got a lot of value with society. Because there isn't many people that uh, have their kids uh, where they can handle themselves as good physically, financially, and everything, and emotionally, even with friends. You guys always had a lot of friends. Yeah, that's that's very true, and that's just what you uh, showed that lady there today in there. That's something that she won't forget because she doesn't see that only once in a lifetime. Yep. And when you talk about it, you don't. I don't know. It's always better to to see it because you know what it's like then, wherever you are, wherever people are that you know. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the way it is. So I can think of the future and don't feel bad. That's very important. <laughs>